friendship took flight. WGM News 13's Amy Sinclair has the story. Bird watching can be a slow, quiet activity. Not when you head out with Peter and Luke. There are lots of birds up here. The sun's been up for 45 minutes, and these high-energy 11-year-olds don't want to miss a thing. We're at Dragon Field in Portland. There he is. Wow. It's a nice-looking bird. It's a birding hotspot during the autumn migration. This time of year, we're really like to, likely to see sparrows because they're migrating, and this is really the habitat that they really like. Feathers are often dull in the fall, so the boy's ability to differentiate similar-looking birds is impressive. To me, it looks exactly like a grasshopper sparrow. The only way to acquire this kind of bird knowledge is through focus, study, and time in the field. I think you have to have a good memory, you know, so you can, like, look at the books and then memorize what it was, you know, like, what they look like, you know. And, uh... I guess you just have to like it. At 11, both boys are already veterans with hundreds of birds on their life lists. But Luke and Peter say birding got a lot more fun when they became friends. It's sort of fun to have some of my age who birds, because, you know, I always birded with adults before. But you can joke around and stuff, you know, and, and you don't have to be as serious. What's interesting is that when Peter and Luke meet up with other birders, they're treated like colleagues, not kids. And when they see something cool, Lyle and Derek! birders come running. And sure enough, the boys are correct. That's a grasshopper sparrow tucked almost invisibly into the brush. Good job. They'll document their find. Luke with sketches, Peter with photos. At the end of our field trip, I can tell you I saw a whole bunch of pretty brown birds. Here's what they saw. Grasshopper sparrow, song sparrow, Lincoln sparrow. And that's only a partial Black list. Black-capped chickadee. Tennessee. Amy Sinclair, WGME News 13. You never know what you'll see out there. Of course, we've been flying high in the weather department for several days now, but we may be coming in for a soggy.